Hi, I'm Elena Hansel. I am the District Manager and the Cook County Water Planner for Cook County Soil and Water Conservation District. So the project, project on Fifth Avenue is a project to treat stormwater on um, about five to six blocks. The stormwater previously, as I mentioned, it just flowed right down into the lake. It's got, we've got a lot of high elevation changes here in the city of Grand Marais. And so if we can keep the water up on the hillside and treat it prior to going down is really important. We discussed that we had funding coming through, the watershed based implementation funding. And so um, we met with the highway department and said, hey, while you're doing this, can we do some stormwater treatment when you're redoing the road? And had a lot of conversations. I mean, this has been a couple years in the making and we're able to then come up with a solution to treat part of the watershed and then be able to come in and treat that water before it hits the lake. The highway department is the lead on this project. The conservation district, we're just um, here to help with some of the funding and then just talk to them about what's being treated and how it's going to work. The highway department also worked closely with the city because this is also a city project as it was identified within their stormwater management plan to do some stormwater upgrades and some work. The partnership with the Soil and Water Conservation District allowed us to secure funding to perform work that was more on the advanced side of filtration. Instead of just the standard stormwater management system, we were able to install a filtration unit to make sure that the stormwater is also clean on its way to the Big Lake. These clean water funds really opened that door and opened the conversation to even have these possibilities. And so they paid for a majority of this project and, and we're excited for that opportunity. So this project is doing something really new in the city. Um, it's creating attenuation. So it's holding the water and it's going to be going through a treatment system, a filtration system that's got a lot of pipes and, and different methods to treat that water. And then it comes back out and it's slowing the water down within that process. So it's not just going to flow down the street like a river. It's going to actually come down, go through the system, and then head through a stormwater system, um, which will help with, you know, just help the water quality. It's going to help also not to erode the road quite as quickly, so help with the infrastructure. Because before, it was just running straight on the road, and you could watch pieces of pavement actually going with the water. So this is a really great opportunity to provide that attenuation with the treatment. It's important because the lake is a very big and dynamic lake. Um, prior to this project, there was just a pipe and just water flowing straight down the road. It's entering into the marina, which doesn't have a lot of water circulation, and water acts like Velcro. So there's, um, it's picking up nutrients, it's picking up sediment. Um, you know, the water at Lake Superior is pretty cold, which is really great. We want to keep it oligotrophic. And so this project is treating the water quality. It's important because it's dependent for the people who live here to enjoy the water. It's, it's an aquatic ecosystem. It's um, based on tourism a lot of our economy is and so we want to keep the water clean for just numerous reasons. We're seeing you know warming water and so if we can keep that nutrients out of, out of the water that will help with you know hopefully slowing that down a little bit because the water won't be warming up it won't have the excess nutrients which could cause algae blooms so whatever we can do now and be proactive was kind of the goal of this project.